first and probably last Ole Miss game. A couple of weeks ago, my friend asked me if I wanted to come with her to the Vandy versus Ole Miss football game here in Nashville. And I wasn't going to be paying, so I said yes. And so we go, we get to the game. It's about to start. Ole Miss runs out. Everyone just starts cheering. Everyone's going crazy. All of a sudden, this guy over in the stands stands up and yells, are you ready? And then everyone around him go, heck yeah, dang right. And then I understood after that was hotty totty, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I'm like, what the heck just happened? What, what just happened? And so I asked my friend, and she said, that was a hotty totty chant. Whenever something good happens, someone will stand up and yell, are you ready? And then you sing the chant, which I'm going to omit two of the words because I don't want to offend anyone. But it's hotty totty, gosh almighty, who the heck are we? Hey, flim flam, bim flam, oh miss by damnation. So we, I was like, okay, that's really weird. That's a strange chant. But I wanted to start it. And so I was like, will you back me up if I try to start this? Now, I want you to remember this for later in the story. She looked me in the face. She looked me in the eyes. And she said, yes, I will, I will back you up when you try to start this chant. So a couple minutes pass, the game's going well. Ole Miss does something really good. I don't know what. I don't really know football. But I knew it was great because the very drunk, very gay guy next to me got his beer bottle and went, <laughs> Go Rebels! Mm. So I was like, this is a great time to do the chant. So I built up my courage, stood up on top of the bleachers, and then just yelled, are you ready? Nobody was ready. So, <laughs> And so, like, nobody, everyone got dead quiet around me. Nobody would look me in the eyes, including my friend. And so, like any respectable person, I sat my butt back down. So, I mean, I just, I was very confused, very embarrassed. And then the guy in front of me, almost immediately after that, he goes, oh, are you ready? And everyone just joined in. What? So, I asked her, I, was, I wasn't even concerned with what I did wrong. I was very mad. I was like, why did you not back me up? And she said, well, Amanda, I don't want to tell you this, but only girls can't leave the hotty totty chant. I had a very small conniption. Why did you not tell me this before I stood up on top of the bleachers? And her response was, well, I wanted you to believe that you could try. And so I was like, okay, you're the worst friend ever. But I was very mad, but I was still very determined to start this chant. And so there were three guys around me. I asked two of them, and they both said, no, I'm not going to help you start the chant. Just calm down. And I was, so that was very discouraging. But luckily for me, about this time, my gay drunk friend elbowed me in the face. So I was like, I had his attention. So he was saying, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, because he was really tall, so his arm was just like right there anyways. And I was like, it's okay, we can put this behind us, it will help me start this chant. And his response was, I don't know. I don't think I want to. I don't want to start this right now. I don't want him to start it either. I wanted to start it. I just wanted him to help me. But I did not get to start the chant, and that was very disappointing. Ole Miss won the game, which I was happy about because we were there for her birthday. But I hope that they lose the next eleven. So the moral of the story is: don't tell your friend you're gonna back them up if you are just gonna not look at them when they try to do something. All right.